planning on doing your HGV license? Or maybe you've just passed your heavy goods test. Maybe you're a little bit unsure of how to secure a load. Unsure of working time? Driver's hours? Or maybe you're unsure how to hitch up to a trailer. If you're unsure of any of these, then why not check out the all new revamp for 2023-24 essential new trucker's handbook. It even gives you advice for passing your LGV driving test through to your, from your medical, uh, through to your theory test, gives you all the questions on your theory test. Even if you've been driving for years, trust me, this book will update your existing skills. It's the essential new trucker's handbook by Malcolm Green. Links in the description. Check it out. Enjoy it. Enjoy the video, guys. Well, hello, everybody. How the devil is everyone this week? Hope everyone is well. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. You join me Monday morning. As you can probably see, I am in Runges. Um, bit of a strange one, actually. Um, I had four drops all in here and then had to pack back up here last night. So I've had my nine off. Uh, just done all my walk around check, make sure everything's all right with the truck. And talking to the truck, there she is. In uh, all her glory. Um, Iveco, or Iveco, S-Way. She's a 570. Uh, she needs a bit of a wash now. Um, but I moved into this on Saturday. And um, made my way down here Saturday night. Um, all I can say is wow uh, she's very very powerful uh, hills aren't a problem I was fully loaded sorry about the noise there's lots of trucks around at the moment um, fully loaded with lambs and hills and all that sort of thing weren't a problem compared to the Scania because obviously the Scania was only a 450 um, yeah on hills the Scania would slow down to about 40 35 mile an hour slowest I went with this was 51 um, got a bigger fuel tank got over a 500 litre fuel tank on it so I'm gonna stop for fuel as often now and I am very very happy with it um, I did ask for it I know that the uh, previous driver was leaving I got told that the, he was leaving so I asked Toby if he had anyone in mind for the truck and uh, he said no I haven't he said if you want to jump in it you can so I said yes please I'll jump in it um, got to make it my own there's a few things I need to do to it. Um, I'll talk a bit more when I get in the cab now. Uh, but I just wanted to give you a quick walk around. There's a few bits of damage to it. And they're hopefully going to get sorted. Uh, we've got uh, a bit of a breakage there. Uh, all this is uh, just tape residue. I'll get rid of that. Same here, tape residue. Uh, I'll get rid of all that. Um, this panel needs to be painted because it's just in primer. Uh, same as the step in primer but I'm hoping that uh, Toby is going to get it all sorted for me so it makes it look a little bit nicer uh, apart from that and uh, the some unknown reason I haven't got color-coded rear arches they're black uh, as you can see there so I'm hoping I'm going to get uh, have them sprayed up to match everything up but this is the truck um, previous driver did call her Esther but um, she is no longer Esther um, as pride of place there we go my sister's name is back on the truck so yeah you see down here all nice full set of our towers the deep mountains washing out and coming down in the rain um, but yeah very very happy with it very happy with it uh, brakes take a little bit of getting used to because with um yeah, let's get inside get a bit uh, quieter um, the brakes on the Iveco oh, are completely different to the brakes on um, on anything else I've driven. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, they take a, you've got to push the pedal down a little bit further, which makes you um, use your retarder more. But I got a five-stage retarder on you, so that's good. And uh, I've only had to use up to stage three on it at the moment, and that was fully loaded coming down, as I said, to Paris uh, Saturday night. Um, as I say, there's a few things I want to do, but what I'll do now is I'll switch all the cameras around because I'm going to be leaving here now. I'm heading over to Rennes, which is 123 miles from here. 
to get a washout and then I'm collecting then tomorrow uh, two collections and then I'll be on the boat tomorrow night in Kine. So let's get these cameras switched over and then uh, I'll come back to you in a bit. Toodles. Hello again. Right, camera's all switched over. This is reverse IU, what it parked up last night. Um, right, with regards to <laughs> ladder cam, as you can see, I've got a ladder there, but I don't know whether I'm gonna be able to use that as a perch. Uh, reason being is it's very, very loose. Um, so it doesn't drop down and hold on anything like it did with the Scania. But I will see what I can do, but for the minute, um, I've got it on the screen and uh, I will see what I can do with regards ladder cam. Um, close the window up a little bit. That's Jordan's there. There was three of us here last night. Um, Jordan and the other guy, I can't think of his name now, but I will uh, take a look at that. Have a look at his name and let you know what his name was. Um, they went outside and tipped local and then came back in to stay for the night. The curtains are still around. Yeah. So he's obviously still sleeping. He must have finished like early hours of this morning. Um, I finished at 2 a.m. this morning. So uh, I'm all good to go now at the nine off. It is now uh, quarter to one. After eight yards, local time. Turn left, yellow or black. Oh yeah, I'm also, uh, I've got a built-in Tom Tom. And uh, I'm seeing uh, how reliable that is compared to my Tom Tom, and then uh, and I might then, if it becomes, like I said, reliable, then uh, I might not use the one on the screen, then I'll just use the one that's built in. But I'm gonna, I've got the two going for the minute. Now that one has done right to start with. It's turned me left to come me out of run. Just that one was going to take me all the way around to come back up down here. So. After Looking yards, good so far. Left on the roundabout and take the second exit. So you'll have to excuse the two different voices. <laughs> um, yeah, there's quite a bit I want to do to this now. Uh, obviously, let's get the panel sorted uh, to make it look a little, little bit tidier. Uh, not that she doesn't look tidy now, she looks great. Uh, but it'd just be better if I could have the panels painted to match the rest of it and that side sorted and, and whatever. Minutes, go left on the roundabout, second exit, Boulevard Circular Air Sud. Go left on the roundabout and take the second exit. Go left on the roundabout, second exit. So I'm going to have two voices talking to me at the moment. Yeah, um, I have ordered a set of um, eco leather flooring for it. So that should be there by the end of the week. Um, thank you. Let me go. Uh, so yeah, I've got um, that on the way. Uh, I looked this morning to get curtain hooks, and I've realised that I've already got curtain hooks that'll fit here because After the IVCO. Yards, go right on the roundabout. <coughs> excuse me. The first exit, A86. Uh, the IVCO ones are exactly the same as Volvo, and I have a set of Volvo. After 100 yards, go right on the uh, Curtain clips. First curtain. Exit, a86A towards Versailles. Curtain then hangers like that. So, and take the first exit. but I don't think I brought my curtains with me. I think they're still in the car. Um, so, when I get back to the yard now, I can uh, I can swap the curtains over, so I can have my curtains up. Um, and little bits and bobs like that. As you can see, I've got my light board up. Uh, that went up. I put that up on Saturday. Uh, the red strip that's there, Left, that was already in you, yeah. so that was good. There's cars, a couple of cars on the inside now, look. Road narrows down, they still want to undertake you. No beeping. Uh, so yeah, what else can I tell you? Uh, she's very, very well specced out. Um, she's got air ride all round, so the front suspension is air ride as well. Um, I'm trying to think what else it's got. 
Do, 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 do. Got the built-in sat nav. Um, Five-stage retarder. Uh, yeah, it'll all come back to me, and I'll let you know as we go along with the video. After um, 800 yards, keep left. But she, as I said, she is very, very well specked out. She's got to get through all this traffic now. Um, but yeah, she's very powerful. Uh, she's quick. <laughs> um, she easily does 56. A little bit more, maybe. But she easily does 56. And uh, I got down here. Apart from <clears throat> when I came down Saturday, uh, obviously I went into Civep. Uh, hang on a minute, I'll come back to you in a bit. That's my wife, I need to speak to her this morning. See you in a bit, guys. Toodles. Hello, welcome back. Sorry about that. I had to take that phone call from Claire. Um, all right, what was I saying? Um, said about the curtain hooks, haven't I? Um, that I've got some. So I've just got to get my curtains out of the car, which I believe they're in the car. Um, so I'm currently heading on the N12, uh, across towards uh, Drew, and then following it down towards Rent. Um, so I'm having a washout today. So that'll be all nice and dry, ready for tomorrow then. And then I go and load a uh, load of cheese, going back up to Avonmouth again. So. Uh, I'm sure that the one in pace I've done before, I think I did that one on my first run. Um, and then into Steph again, like I did on the last video. Um, no, I didn't Didn't record it. I went into Steph last week, I didn't record that, did I? No. Or did I? Can't remember. Uh, but anyway, I went into Steph at the end of last week, so I'm going into Steph again this week after I've collected in pace. So, it's all good. It's all good. Um, Last night uh, went pretty well. Uh, so the majority of it came off on the alley, uh, on the one bay. And I just had 100 lambs to come off there in two different places, 50 for each. Um, so the find GRG, found GRG, and then the other one after that then was a couple of doors down. So all good, all good. So everything's going well at the moment. And uh, this, I just can't fault it. Um, I put a f my post up last night. Uh, first post with this one and uh, the, uh, the reaction to the post was very very positive I was thinking people would say oh not an Iveco but I tell you what they've come on leaps and bounds definitely come on leaps and bounds uh, I've been talking to Luke about the uh, different things uh, this morning as well with regards to the truck it's obviously Luke's more used to it I'm still getting used to it um, mine is a little bit more higher spec than Luke's because uh, it is the 570 and Luke's got the 490 um, but everything else is more or less the same and uh, yeah so we're just talking about different things um, what he's done to his uh, what I want to do to mine and all that sort of thing so it's all good it's all good it's all positive um, I'm glad I asked for it because it's uh, it's very nice the seat is so comfortable compared to the Scania seat it is unbelievable uh, it is very very plush the seat very nice indeed um, and it's got the uh, heated seat, uh, it's got the air-cooled seat, um, the air-cooling system through it as well, so that's all good. Um, as I say, I've got the, the passenger seat is on air, uh, it's also a captain's chair, so it swivels, so when I'm parked up at night, I can turn it round and I can stretch my legs out, and um, I use the fridge as a buffet, so I put my feet up on top of the fridge, and yeah, it's very comfortable, very comfortable. Bunk is lovely, very comfy. Uh, Storage wise, it's not so great, but I'm lucky I've got the top bunk, so I can chuck a lot of my junk up on there. Um, the lockers that you do have are very spacious, they're very deep, so you can put quite a bit in there. Um, so my left hand locker, uh, I've got the microwave in, it doesn't protrude like it does in Luke's, uh, it's actually behind the door. Um, I've got a very nice uh, inverter in here as well, 2500 watt inverter so I don't have to uh, carry that big blue Eddie box around with me anymore. So that's good. Um, so that gives me a bit more room again. And uh, yeah, everything's positive so far. Everything's positive. So I'm just hoping now we can get the outside looking a bit better. And then, uh, yeah, all good to go then. Do a couple of shows with her this year, hopefully. 
So, anyway, um, I'm heading down towards uh, getting this washed out. So, what I'll do now, because uh, it's the N12 all the way down. Um, so, it's pretty much just like this dual carriageway all the way down. Um, get washed out this afternoon, then go find somewhere to park up. And, uh, and then go and get collected, go and collect in the morning. So, I will crack on and uh, I will speak to you just before I get the wash. This will probably be over. This video will probably cover the next two today and tomorrow. Um, and then uh, I don't know whether I'm going to have any footage for Saturday's vlog, to be honest, because I'm going to be finishing up on Thursday. So it's most Tuesday. So what I might do is record tomorrow for the collection and getting on the boat and then the Saturday's video will probably be me going to deliver and then whatever I'm doing on Thursday on Wednesday so Wednesday Wednesday Thursday will be for Saturday's vlog today and tomorrow will be for Wednesday's vlog hopefully fingers crossed so yeah let's crack on and I will speak to you just before I get to the washout see you in a bit guys doodles says turn left there that's not what I want hey guys I'm just looking for this place now uh, TTB there it is oh, it was quick uh, how do I get in there right there after 300 yards go left on the roundabout and take the third exit D112 right Turn around when possible, then at the end of the road, turn right. Well, where we get the washout to, but park up by here now and uh, go see someone, I think. If there's anywhere to pull in, yeah, I should be able to get it in there. Yeah, I should have put the camera on a bit sooner. I didn't realise I was as close as I was. So. May have to go elsewhere for the wash, I don't know. Oh, that could be it. Ah, there it is. I can see it the other side of me now. It's behind me. Do 
Do another spinny. Flip all their gravel. Flip over here out the way. That's obviously the wash. Right. Whether he's the driver or I saw just seen someone walking up, so he might have been the driver, he might be one that does all the washing. So Yeah, we'll see. Right, let's go and have a chat. <laughs> I'll see when I'm leaving. Toodles. Hello! My trailer's all washed out, I had to do it. But uh, at least it's done now. And uh, I found a nice little routier. See the trucks over there. Um, you can see what it's like in here now. It's a bar restaurant. Uh, it's free parking, but you've uh, <laughs> you've got to go in and order food from the restaurant. So, which is fair enough. So at least I can have a decent meal tonight. So I'm going to pop over there now. I'll show you the rest. Let's show it. <clears throat> I will show it to you now. It's just on the opposite side of the road. There's uh, showers and Wi-Fi and everything else here apparently. Um, so it's parked up off the road and I'm literally three quarters of a mile from my collection in the morning. She's back down that way. I literally passed it and I have been there before. I thought I had. So I'm going to be collecting from there in the morning, 7 a.m. And uh, that's the Rubier. Nice little one. So I'm going to pop in there now. And uh, grab some grub and uh, go and get some kip after talking to Claire for a bit. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Doodles. Right, been in for a use the facilities and a quick wash. Uh, restaurant opens at seven o'clock and it's just after six now. So a little, uh, little wait for an hour. So I'll make myself a cuppa and uh, I'll go and have something to eat about seven o'clock. So yeah, see what the food's like. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, just sit and relax for an hour now, and then uh, go from there. So, here we are. Right, get back in the truck, I'll see you in a bit. Toodles. Very good morning all. Ah, right, I'm on the bay. Uh, battery was dead on that first thing this morning, that's hence why I didn't record coming out of the, uh, the routier. Uh, it was a tidy little route here, that. Um, nice little bite to eat. Uh, uh, ordered the steak and chips. Uh, <laughs> and more or less half a cow come out. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was good value. Um, Eight euros fifty. Um, of course, you had to buy the food to, to stay at the route here, but don't mind that one. It's only eight euros fifty. That's about, what, seven pound? So, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Anyway, I'm on, as I said, I'm on the bay. I uh, got in here at smack on seven o'clock. Uh, as the timing said, I was four minutes away, quite literally. Uh, it is now uh, five to eight. Um, I just finished loading the one that was next to me. He's just pulled off now. So I believe they're gonna be starting to load me next. Uh, I've gotta be up at uh, Steph for 11 o'clock. If I left now, it'd be five to 10. So I'm two hours away, basically. And uh, by the look of the itinerary, uh, I'm on the half past three boat, not the boat, not the night, not the night boat. Um, <clears throat> so that could prove a little awkward. Uh, reason being is I started at quarter seven, which is quarter six uh, UK time, which only gives me till quarter nine tonight. And then if I'm on the afternoon boat. Apparently, it gets in at half past nine. So, I'm gonna be over my time. So, ferry mode's gonna have to come into play. But I've only got an hour. Get an hour's movement. Um, getting off the boat, like, you know? Um, so, 
don't know where I'm going to be able to get to because you can't park in Portsmouth. There's nowhere that nowhere to park at all in Portsmouth. Um, so I'm going to have to see if I can work out where I'm going to actually uh, get the park up tonight. Um, <clears throat> So I'm not going to have time to have a full nine off. Um, and if I did have time to have a full nine off, it could prove awkward because it's 11 o'clock delivery tomorrow morning. So I'm going to have to work it out um, where I can park to uh, by using ferry mode because I get an hour's movement, but then I got to have 11 off as well. So I've got to be careful with that. Uh, so yeah, we just have to wait and see on that one. <clears throat> I'll double check that I am on the uh, the half past three boat. I didn't even know there was a half past three boat, to be honest. Um, but there we go. We shall see. So let's get this one loaded. We'll head up to Steph, get that one loaded, and then uh, head over to the boat. So hopefully not going to be too long in here now, so I can get the Steph on time. Hopefully get out of Steph then, because it's an hour and a half. Um, from Steph up to the boat. <clears throat> so we just have to look at the timings then and see how we go with that. Um, so yeah. Let's see what time I got here. As I say it's just gone five to five to eight. Yeah it's coming up to eight o'clock now so let's see what time I get out of here. See you in a bit. Doodles. All right, hole loaded. It is now <coughs> just gone 10 to 9. Uh, I got 31 pallets on. So it must be just two pallets I'm collecting from the next one. Um, so, yeah, I'm heading up the staff now. I won't have the front camera on yet. I'll have, uh, wait till I get down towards the gate. Just in cases, as they say. Turn right, then turn left. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, more or less two hours I've been in here. Um, turn left, then bear left. So I've got a two hour run now. Up the staff. And uh, it's, it's confusing me a little bit. I, the... Uh, Ferry. I didn't think there was a half past three ferry. I thought it was one in the morning, one in the night. So I'll have to get double check on that one, I think. Claire had a bit of a late one last night, bless her. She, uh, she had a late start yesterday and uh, she went up to Ghoul. I think she actually parked up about half past 10, 11 o'clock last night. That's a nude off for Claire. <laughs> She's normally parked up relatively early. -ish. 50 yards, bear left, D112. There then we go. Take the second ride. Bear left, then take the second ride. Okay, all good behind. so I can actually see in my mirror. Yeah, all clear. Sorted. So one thing I do like about this, these mirrors are lovely and wide. So the concave mirrors, you can see quite a bit over that way. So it's nice. So especially with the junctions you get over here, you've got, always got to sort of go at a, an angle at the junctions to see what's coming. And uh, with these mirrors, you can see it no problem. Um, now I'm fully freighted, more or less. I say I got 31 pallets on. I'll have another two on on the uh, when I get to Steph. And uh, you can see, <laughs> pulls like a train. The beauty of a 570. Um, the brakes are taking a little bit of getting used to. It's sort of. Um, Apparently, see, I Vico Trade. I was talking to Bob Beach online, and uh, he was saying uh, about the brakes, and uh, he said it's uh, it's an Ivico Trade. So they're uh, they feel spongy, 
but they're not spongy it's just you've got to put a little you've got to just got to add a little bit more pressure than you normally would for braking um, but to me I think that's uh, a good way of making you use your retarder a bit more and I got a five stage retarder on here um, engine brake whatever you want to call it and uh, it works really really well um, but Bob did actually say to me in the rain be careful with the retarder because it could bring in the ABS if you, you know, on number five like you know so it's that good so so we just uh, just have to see how it goes but um, I'm getting used to it so this is my third day in it now uh, the punk is super comfy that's really really comfortable the bunk after 800 yards um, go left on the roundabout and take the third exit at d1 uh, pulls like a train look uphill and she's pulling well she does go nice um i don't think i'm going to be able to do ladder cam i'll see if i can figure something else out with it so you've got a bit of a, a wider view uh, but yeah, that ladder's no good for it because it's constantly doing that. It's, it's not solid like it was um, on the Scania. Now, I'm not touching the brakes, just using the retarder. Stage two. Now, I'm slowing down nicely, look. Go I haven't touched the brakes yet. And take the third exit, D1. There we go. Didn't touch the brakes at all on that. Um, a nice thing about this as well is it's full air ride so it's uh, air on the front air on the rear um, so I can raise and lower the suspension on the front as well and it's, it's a smoother ride I've got to be honest it is nice to have an air ride never had air ride on the front before so it, uh, it is quite nice uh, so yeah, we're heading up towards the N12 now, head over towards Normandy, in towards Steph. Uh, due to get there now for 5 to 10, uh, 5 to 11. So we shall see what time we do get there. Hopefully I'll make up five, you know, maybe five minutes-ish or whatever. But I'm due there for 11 o'clock, so I should be on time. As long as I don't hit any traffic or anything. For some unknown reason, my traffic's not working on the sat nav at the moment. After 400 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the first exit, N12. Let's see, heading up towards the A28, which is what I want. So he's off the gas. Stage two on the retarder. Not touching the brake. Right on the roundabout and take the first exit. I presume he's going to go left here. No, he's not. So I can touch a brake. There we go. Foggy this morning. Right, there's Mrs. J. So I'm gonna crack on. Let's get up to staff and I'll talk to you just before I get there. See you in a bit, guys. Toodles. When I use 
use my witchcraft You're playing it cool, bending all the rules Talking way too loud, and you're talking rude You're playing a game, driving me insane Your heart is back, and it's a fact, no turning back You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a blast Trespass, but you're bound to break down, bound to lose, bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. When I use my witchcraft, I got my moves, I got my song. When I turn my mojo on, I'm feeling fine, I'm feeling strong. It won't take long when I use my witchcraft. First of all, look at that. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful scenery. Absolutely marvelous. Oh, tractor. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get past him before he comes on, so I'm gonna have to slow it down. Am I six minutes away now? So I just thought I'd uh, take you in, show you a bit of the scenery around here. I tell you what, I am really, really impressed with this truck. I mean, uh, I've had a few comments in, uh, you know, the uh, on Facebook where I put a couple of posts up with the truck and whatever else, and they'll, you know, it's an Iveco. Why did you like that? Blah blah blah. It. I tell you what, they are underrated. They are very, very underrated. Uh, I'm not just saying this because I've got this. And this wasn't forced on me. I asked for this truck. And I am very, very, very impressed with it. Um, I say I'm quite heavy. I've got a load of cheese on. And uh, it's like I've got nothing on the back. It's brilliant power in it for you know. I know it's the 570, but the torque in it is unreal. Don't know what the torque is. I'll have to find out and let you know. But um, second to none. Second to none. Um, I will give you a cab tour later on. Um, I'll probably do that when I'm at the port. Uh, I'll give a you know a quick quick walk around the inside, show you the bits and bobs in here. Um, it's not, uh, what would you call it, um, high tech, far from it. Um, does my watch keep going off? Uh, yeah, it's far from high tech, but it is, for the job, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, gives you everything you need. Uh, the infotainment system is cracking. Um, Everything on the dashboard is exactly what I need. Uh, so, but I'll, I'll show you it all later on anyway. Um, this is fab. I really like it. I'm glad I asked for it now. Um, and by now as well, <laughs> if I was in the Scania, 
the miles I've done over the last couple of days, I would have definitely have had to look for fuel by now. Uh, I've still got half a tank. So, we're all good. Um, and it uh, that'll be enough now. I can, uh, I'll be going up the A34 tomorrow. So, I can uh, pop into the services and uh, top up with fuel. Uh, but... This is brilliant. I mean, look at it. I'm fully, fully loaded. Straight up a hill. No struggling at all. 400 yards. Go left on the roundabout and take the fourth exit. D577. I love it when the sat nav does that. It's D577A, and it goes D577A. <laughs> Fab. on the roundabout and take the fourth exit. The retarder is brilliant. It just holds, when you're going down a hill, uh, it just holds you at the speed that you put the retarder on. I love these people that don't indicate that you know where you're going. Um, steering is light as a feather. Got no problems with the steering. these narrow roads again that I was uh, talking about the other the last time I came in here After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit D5 literally just a couple of minutes away now uh, but yeah as I said I'll give you a, a quick cab tour later on so uh, stay tuned for that if you want to see what the cab's like um, Any negatives? Uh, storage, not a great deal of storage. Uh, the cupboards you have got are quite big. Um, but I'm lucky, I've got the top bunk, so I can just bung everything up there. I think I've spoken about this already. Um, and that's about the only negative thing about it, I think. Um, oh, and the power shuts itself off as well. So if I've got the night heater on overnight, um, then I wake up in the morning, night heater shut off, everything shut off, all the power. But it's a battery saving thing. Um, nothing wrong with the batteries, they're fine. Uh, but it does it just to protect the batteries. Um, so when it's really, really cold, it's a bit of a mate when that shuts down. Um, but neither here or there, really. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the first exit, then take the second ride. But it's so comfortable. Uh, seats are comfy. I love the captain's chair. I'll show you that later. Um, Go right on the roundabout yeah, I've got no complaints take the whatsoever. Exit, I'm take the second ride. quite happy with this. Quite happy indeed. No lag in the acceleration. Gearbox is smooth. I've had no qualms with it changing gear. Nothing with it trying to decide what gear it wants once I pulled up to a roundabout. You get none of that. After 200 um, yards, turn right, then you have reached your destination. Yeah, it's fab. It really is. I love it. Um, haters are going to hate, as Luke says. Um, but at turn the end of the day, right, then I like it. Your destination. It's a... Uh, does exactly what it says on the tin. It's powerful, it's torquey, and it's comfortable. That's all you want. It's all back front. we go well yeah visiting this one quite often it's the third time I've been here now I think 
So I'll grab a CMR, take that up to the office. Um, they'll tell me what bay to go on and uh, get the last couple of pallets on and then I can head up to the boat. So hopefully I won't be here too long. Pull up here for a second. And we are job done. All right guys. Where's I done that? Oh wait. All right, let's get this sorted and I'll speak to you in a bit. Doodles. Okay, so it's a bit noisy. Went to by the fridge. Um, turns out that I'm not loading here. I'm just here for the paperwork, which I've now got. So, I'm going to secure all the back end up now. You can probably can see there. Just see that. So, yeah, you can see me there, can't you? So, see you lot. lapse of me coming out of Steph. Uh, I was on the phone to Claire so I thought well I'll put a camera on do it a time lapse rather than just chat to you. Um, I am 3.6 miles away from Kine so I thought right we'll take you in it's light you see a bit more than when it's dark. <laughs> the last couple of times I brought you in this way it's been pitch black so we can't see much so 
So I just thought I'd put the cameras on, take you into the port with me. And then once I get in the port and uh, sorted myself out with uh, the tickets and everything else, I'll do a little uh, cab tour for you. So you can have a quick look of uh, what I've got in here. a couple of roundabouts coming up soon so these are where you've got to be careful as I keep saying you've got to watch what you're doing coming in through here now and yes it's decided it wants to rain as well which is about right Hundred and ten yards, stay to the left. We've got no point eight miles for the roundabout, so this is where I gotta make sure I stay well back from vehicles. So uh, I don't have to come to a complete stop on roundabouts. Yep, by there. So we go into when we come in. The old customs place. Stay back from this car. All good. It's normally the second roundabout you're going to watch yourself on. This is Kine, that's the car four over there, or Cade four or whatever they call it. That I was mentioned, I mentioned in the last video. You can actually see it in the daylight over there. And this is normally where you see the uh, the folk that want to jump on are along here somewhere normally. a shed load of them out last time I came through here at night. Normally a load here. Doesn't look like there's any here at the moment. I keep going on about this, but you seriously wouldn't think I was fully loaded with cheese. This is a pulling machine. Slow down now. Again, do into a 30 zone, which is 19 mile an hour.
clear today. That's good. And here we go. Getting into Kind Port, where the, uh, the gendarmerie should be waiting to check the trailer out. people waiting so that's a good sign don't know if people normally get the afternoon boat there you go getting out the cars or their car Check around my trailer now. Bonjour, how are you? Quick check. Uh, wait to go through the uh, the scanner now. Only one in front of me. I'm here waiting down there. Now when I get up to this line. Doesn't look that many in there to be honest. So that's good. So shouldn't take long to get me ticket. And uh, uh, and then Oh, big stretch. And I'll do a little cab tour for you. So while I'm going through there, I'm going to shut the cameras off. And then uh, so we can see just the left of that truck's going in now. Those doors will come down behind him. And there's a, uh, it's a great big, huge uh, x-ray machine. So it x-rays everything on the trailer and the truck. So, yeah, right. I'll see you in a bit. Toodles. Hey guys, well, as promised, I'll give you a little cab tour now. There's uh, no one in the office at the moment for the tickets, so uh, a bit early for that. So I thought, right, let's uh, let's give you a cab tour. I've got the two cameras going, so I can uh, show you a couple of bits and bobs up close or whatever. Um, where do we start? Right, uh, at the back, I suppose. I've got the wire still plugged in on this, because uh, the camera's still low on it, but it's a nice long wire. So, um, at the back we have the top bunk, uh, which is where all my uh, <laughs> bits and bobs are. Uh, my, uh, I got a big case of um, clothes up there and God knows what. Obviously my Janko sign. Uh, this was already in the truck when I got in it, so I've kept that in. It looks a little bit, it looks okay, it looks tidy at night. Um, I've got a couple of shelves over here. That's where my iPad is. You've got two USB ports here. And also, you got a 12 volt socket by there. That's where the controller for my light board. And the other side, you have two more shelves. This is where my maps are. Uh, two more USBs there. Got hanging hooks both sides. And uh, that's one of the hooks <laughs> that I uh, tried to see if it fits. Uh, it's one of the Volvo hooks I had from, uh, from my Volvo. And I used to have the Volvo and they work. So my curtains are in the truck, uh, not in the truck, in the, in the car. So once I get back to the yard, uh, the, the curtains will be in here and I'll take those, those down, keep them safe, and then put my curtains up. Um, we got leather seats, uh, which have, uh, it's heated and cool air blowing. Um, that one's heated, but there's no cool air blowing on that one. Um, I'm gonna get some leather cleaner because they could do with a little bit of a clean. But my most favorite bit with this, uh, if I can put you there a minute, whether it'll stay, 
maybe, maybe not, I don't know, no, it's not going to stay, let's try by there then, no, that's not going to stay either, because it's got the wire on it, <laughs> me and my cab toes, eh, oh, there we are, so you might be able to see this now, uh, you pull a lever, and uh, you get a full captain seat, so you can, uh, oh, there goes that camera, good job I still got that one going, oh, are we still moving, no, Batteries come out, typical. Right, let's turn it back on. Uh, tell me I've broken it now. Try without the wire in for a minute. There we go. Preparing your file. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so we've got the captain seat yeah, and the nice thing is I can pull my fridge out by uh, uh, right there, and I can just put my feet up, have my iPad over there or over there on the steering wheel or whatever. I can watch the telly at night then. It's brilliant. I love it. I love the captain's chair. Right, let's put this other camera back on. So that will call back on in three, two, one. <laughs> it's uh, one of those secret things that I do to. <laughs> just to sync the cameras back up three two one and then clap your hands so you know exactly where the uh the two the two cameras sync up together um right what else we got so we're going to shut this camera off now so it'll just be that one now so let me turn that off there we are it's not turning off now there we go let's make sure that they record No, we didn't. That's typical. Oh, well, well, hopefully you'll see it on there. It's literally recorded for five seconds. Unbelievable. Oh, there we are. But anyway, um, let's turn that off. That's what I dropped it. Nightmare. Uh, but yeah, you get the gist of it anyway. This wire is very long. Plug this in just to uh, charge it back up because the battery is really low on that one. Ooh. There we are. Popping back there. Um, and whether you'll be able to see, but if I do this with a ladder cam, I'm not going to be able to do it with this one. Uh, so if I loosen that off, as you can see, it's you get seasick with it see what i mean it's not solid so obviously when the bunk's down it'll be it's right up against that then but with the other one it came down that way and it's held solid there but this one doesn't hold solid unfortunately so i don't know how i'm going to do that i might be able to sort something out with it i don't know here we go now Um, so yeah, so that's about it guys. Uh, so you wouldn't have seen any of the, <laughs> oh my God, you wouldn't have seen anything on the dashboard, but you get the idea if I, I can't really, I, I could take you off there. So we're all again, that's the, uh, that's the dashboard. Um, let's say if I just scroll it down a little bit, you can just see where my, it's up there. driving time's gone and yeah there you go that's the driving times and then if you scroll across then that's where it gives you all the detail the information of what you've got left driving for your day for your week and all that sort of thing so and all the rest is pretty self-explanatory uh, nice clear dials um, and the nice thing is as well is it's in kilometers the dials Oop. The, the dials are in kilometers so um, when I'm over here it's quite easy and then you've got your 20 30 40 50 60 70 mile an hour underneath it so I can easily see that as well when I'm in the UK so 
it's all good it's all good um an infotainment system that's the nav so you can see that because you wouldn't have seen it on the other one because it would have uh, not worked so so i'll probably do is cut most of that out <laughs> um yeah you got the um inverter there nice big inverter captain's chair um so yeah it's it's very very nice i like it uh, so once i've done what i need to do with it as well um it'll be a bit better i think uh, but it pulls like a train absolute train i flipping love it um i'd say i'm fully loaded at the moment and uh Fully loaded with cheese at the moment, and it's uh, just like there's nothing on the back. Really, really good. Yeah, the automatic shutdown again. I can actually turn that off. Turn the engine off for a bit. Um, so yeah, that's the inside of the cab, guys. Um, sorry, the, the, the camera shut off halfway through. Then I don't know why it stopped. It just went dead on it. Weird. But there we go. Um, hopefully you've caught a lot of it on that one so but we will see anyway that's me for this week guys thank you very much for watching don't forget if you are watching and not subscribed and um, when I contemplate pressing that subscribe button follow me on my journeys with the Iveco um, across the Europe and UK um, I press your bell notification get notifications when my videos come out don't forget to check out Ben as well the breeze check his YouTube out uh, go and give him a watch go and give him a sub and Captain Slow as well on Facebook. Go and give his page a follow. You're more than likely already following him, but because he's got loads of followers. Uh, and I hit, I've hit 10,000 followers on Facebook as well. So that's nice. I got 10,100 and something now. So thank you guys for following me on Facebook. Don't forget if you are, if you haven't followed me yet, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Truckerjenko. Go and check it out. I try and put up as much as I can on them um, when I can. So, yeah, if you want to see how I'm getting on during the week or whatever else, just a sneak peek of what I'm doing, then go and check out my Facebook and Instagram. Right then, again, thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Welcome aboard. Uh, if you are new, uh, if you are old, thanks for sticking with me. Um, yeah, it's all good. Thank you, guys. Whatever you're doing, be safe, be good, and I'll most definitely catch you in the next one. Doodles.